Hey, hey guys, this is Brad from BD Production Studios here to give you a uh, tutorial. Um, I am back, I, I guess I could say. I I haven't been making tutorials, but I am going to jump off with this crazy tutorial that I actually did last night. Um, I actually made this last night. It involves a green screen. If you really want to, if I could really show you it. You can see all these black lines. Um, that's actually the green screen because it was it wasn't flat to my face. It was kind of creased. So yeah, it's it's a little effect I I put together just to goof around. I did post this on Facebook and got some pretty crazy reactions. But let's get jump let's jump into it. First, you got to get your full your uh, your footage. And for this effect to work, you need to get a blank slate um, in your background as your background layer. Hold on, sorry for the noise. I'm just moving up to my keyboard and moving something over here. Okay, so, sorry about that. Um, you need to get a blank slate, maybe about 10 seconds. I did mine at about 11 seconds. And then get your footage. Get your guy to wear the, uh, usually it's a latex mask, like they are a green screen mask, like a full body suit that they use, but I don't have that. I only have like my green screen that's off the wall because I'm moving rooms. So what you can do, what if we key this out and you see all this green right back here, that's gonna mess up the shot completely. So what I had to do was I actually had to go in um, and make a mask around my head or where I think my head is or what my head is, sorry. Um, and then you just kinda go around clicking on what you need um, make sure you go pretty big outside I usually go uh, all the way outside just to make sure I get everything out and you might say oh no it's it's the wrong way well then you just come down here press mm subtract it and then you can see that there is some some change like there's a like a jagged line well then we just Feather it. I mine turned out to be good around 27. Um, don't worry about this whole mask. If anything, you can uh, you can extrude it inwards so it doesn't do that. So it is just your guy's head. Um, you can see a little bit back here where the uh, mask is. I usually go around that stuff, but for this tutorial, I won't. Um, so now we're gonna get into key lighting. Um, what you can do. Well, what you have to do is go to uh, go to effects, keying, keying, and then key light 1.2. Usually, it will come with uh, Adobe After Effects. Um, 1.2 should be the standard in Adobe After Effects. But so you just take this screen color, click on the green screen, and it already did most of the work for you. Now you just got to play with the little settings to get it relatively good but as you can see if you look around it kind of does this old school grainy effect and if you play you actually play the tape it shakes and moves around so if you're looking for like an old school effect you can see me breathing there because it's kind of it's hard to wear that thing and breathe uh, at the same time but you can uh, you can just play around with the settings see as I as I move this one down uh, it it changes it, it well it changes the color actually and you just fool around until you got what you liked. So that's pretty good. Oopsies, not new composition. Make a new folder. I'm going to call it the blood folder. And um, I'm going to open up my effects, which are on my separate hard drive. Blood. Um, I'll just choose some random things and place them in. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them, but
sorry about that. Okay, so um, then you just pretty much have to take your blood, drag it in, find a spot, and also for this back frame, um, you should always uh, freeze it. So go to time, freeze frame, in case your camera shakes a little bit or something. But same with the blood, just find the good good spot. So like right there, uh, go time, freeze frame. So then no matter where you go on the timeline, that blood will still stay the same. You may think, oh, well, that doesn't really look too good. Like it's just kind of sitting there. So what you've got to do is go into your um, effect. You go into your timeline, press F4, which will bring up the mode of your uh, of your video layer. Sorry, um, and change it to overlay, and then it kind of changes it so it looks like it's actually on the surface and gives it kind of a 3D effect, like I like I have in the uh, actual video. I'm going to tell you uh, another thing about this uh, effect. As you can see, you can see the floor right here. What I did to stop that was I made a new solid by either right-clicking there, right-clicking there, or going uh, uh, layer, new, and then solid. I made it black, um, and then I just took the Eclipse tool and made a, a rough shape, not a red shape. Oh, crap. Okay, sorry. So, yes. Um, so, I actually have your layer selected, and I made a little eclipse type thing. Um, type mask, sorry. And I'm not too sure where the actual eclipse went. Oh, that's why. It's not even on. There we go. <laughs> Whoopsies. So, what I did was I kind of moved it and then placed it behind my footage just so I could get it just right. Um, you can play with it. I usually kind of morphed it to my actual kind of back. So it looks like it's your head. Your head's gone. Um, if I shot off, it looks a lot better than having the floor there so it just makes I don't know it just makes it a little bit less shady with the whole no nothing being there so back to the whole effect of the blood the blood blood <laughs> um, just drag on your next uh, next blood scene do the same thing find the right place go to time freeze frame you're gonna have to extend the bloods out the blood splatters out to the end since they're freeze framed it doesn't really matter so then oh, um, grab the new one this one's gonna probably go where the head's supposed to be and tilt it to the side right about there going to just make it bigger bigger and then do the same thing go to normal change it to overlay so that when it's on say the white like if I move it over it kind of looks like the the actual shirt is drenched in it which I think is pretty cool um, and drag on another one just basically just repeat this process over and over again um, you get to go in the middle that will be good for the actual head so time freeze frame I'm just gonna move it up here. Uh, you might have to mask out some moving moving parts of it, but for this tutorial, I won't because I don't have enough time. So place it about there, um, and then do the same thing. Put it to overlay, and then it looks like it was on the ground, like it's on the ground. Um, I was talking to my friend last night when I was doing this, and he was saying that the non-overlaid version looked better than the overlaid version, and I got pissed off at him, <laughs> just because it wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to 
place this somewhere and do the same thing, change it to overlay. Uh, maybe place it right back there. You, you might be asking, why is it not showing up right here? Well, the, the black is actually covering it up, and it it's just overlaying on the black, so it's making the blood darker. And it, that's that's why it doesn't really look... It, it looks like I'm just kind of... It's a, another layer, and it's just going away. But I'll put it about there, just to show kind of blood hitting the wall. And this one... We'll go to right there. So uh, freeze frame this. And freeze frame my other one. Then take this top one and change it. So it kind of looks like blood went everywhere and all the way down my, my shirt. Maybe rotate it. Uh about there so it looks like you actually got shot or got your head blown off and then just again extend all these out so that they last the entire time and you could do some tracking uh, using some really contrast points like the floor and the, the little star like the box or the black right here or something or my arm and my uh, jacket but or even the white and the jacket of my shirt um, but that's only if you're going to be uh, tracking the blood onto it if your your scene moves, um, which is going to be hard harder to do because then you have to actually get the same movement in your background shot, so it goes with it. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's how you make your head explode uh, in a still frame or video. So I'll see you guys later. Um, subscribe and rate, comment, do whatever. See ya.